Ah, the Bill W5 seaweed. Welcome. 12.15 here on day 444, I think. Triple four today. Um, I got back. We did that thing this morning. You know, I said yesterday I was going to budget 20 minutes for it. It took like 21 minutes exactly. It was pretty good. It was easy. Uh, I'm going to review everything tonight. we got a test on Friday. I'll probably review it tomorrow night. Anyways, it's about 39 degrees outside. Check out the rain we got last night. It's just filling up that creek back there. Um, snow's been gone for a while now. It's supposed to be, I think, 59 today, which is pretty good for late February around here. Our averages are around 42, so we're doing pretty well. Then tomorrow is like 45 and 62 on Friday, and then 30s and snow next week. It's like a 20% chance of snow and 38 degrees, so I don't think we're going to see much. At least I hope we don't. But I'm home now. I'm going to do a couple things online, catch up on everything, so it'll be less to do tonight. I'll jump on that in a few minutes. Yesterday I didn't film it. It was kind of busy. Um, one of my friends from school lent me his new Mac. He just got a new 13-inch MacBook Pro with a 2.4 i5. He had me put Office on that, and I work and the crap, all the software and stuff, so I gave that back to him today. I thought about reviewing it, but it's been out for so long, um, and I've done 13 inches and the 15 before, so I didn't want to over-talk the MacBook Pro thing on the channel. Um, something that some people haven't quite figured out, I think I've mentioned it on the Tech Channel before, but it's been a while. I'm going to make a video addressing it soon. Um, when there isn't a video on the Tech Channel in a couple days, usually I'm working on the other channel, the E39 Source channel. Um, during the week, I want to get three or four videos up, either all technology or all cars or a mix. I am kind of done taking the whole week off just for nothing and excuses about how busy I am. Um, I need to find time for that, and I will find time for that, and I am. Yesterday, the past two days, I've gotten long um, videos up on the E39 Source channel. Today, I'm going to try to do a tech video. If not, we'll do something with the car or it is Wednesday. I usually don't do Wednesdays and Fridays, so we'll work that out. Going back to school at 1.15 or 1.20 today, and what do I have to do? I have to do engineering drawing, which as I mentioned yesterday, I think we're gonna start building the parts library for that trebuchet. It's really just a, a bunch of 1 8 inch plywood pieces, half inch dowels, quarter inch dowels, and a bunch of sticks, really. And I don't know how he wants us to put it together, if we're gonna be doing um, little nails or screws. I really don't know. We might end up just using glue. I don't know if that's going to hold the weight that a trebuchet needs to throw, though, because we're going to have rocks and a little thing, and then we're going to fling pieces of clay, I think. And I don't know. So we'll get that done. If it's anything interesting, maybe I'll pull the camera out and film a little bit in there. On Sunday, I mentioned I had to go back over to my dad's parents' house to borrow a suitcase. Last year, when we went to California, I used my dad's suitcase, since in the original plans, he wasn't supposed to be going. Um, and the one he had was a really nice Samsonite. I filmed it last year. It's one of those ones that you um, you flip open like this, like a bifold wallet, and then you unzip the thing, and then you hang your clothes in there on hangers and pants at the bottom. And I really liked that design. It was about the perfect size for a week. Uh, it was a really nice suitcase, but he's going to be taking that this year. It's at his place right now. So unless I go out and blow 200 on a good new one, I, I don't want to do that. Uh, this is the smallest one I could find at my grandparents' house. The ones we have here, we, t we would take family vacations to the Caribbean, you know, the four of us for two weeks or ten days, and we had one literally twice this size. Actually, we had two, so we would always take those. But this is the one that they had. It's a Lark, which apparently is a good brand. My concern is, though, it's too big for one person for a week, and this would be good for both of us. So I don't know if I'm going to have to fill the rest of it with packing peanuts or just bring everything. And here's another problem. This thing only comes up that far, which is, I guess, good height to carry it around. Um, but the problem with that is, you know, I have my carry-on bag that the Mac and the iPad and the, all that crap and the headphones and the noise-canceling headphones are playing. That I usually put over this bag. So, you know, I can carry it like this and then the, the carry-on's right here, but it's not going to fit. So I'm going to have to figure this out. Having said that, my mom's over at, I think, Walmart or Target or somewhere right now buying list of supplies I said I was going to need. I know I'm not leaving for two weeks, but I think by this point you guys have kind of gotten the point that it's pretty busy around here. I don't have more than an hour in a day where I can actually just sit down and watch Family Guy and chill. Um, so I'm kind of just going to work on getting stuff together and packing over the next two weeks slowly when I have time. I'll just put stuff together. And then there's the people like I, Justine, that they travel so often they literally spend 10 minutes uh, five hours before they have to go to bed and get up the next morning and go to the airport. I'm not like that. I like to have stuff ready and more planned out and more organized. That way I won't be like I, Justine, and leave half my stuff at home and then have to go buy it at the Apple store where she is. Anyways, here's the inside. We've got packets, uh, pockets up there, and this thing actually clips in. You're supposed to put your toiletries in it, but I've got a nice leather 
pouch for that and it's even got these little ties so you put a layer of clothes down there and tie them off so they don't slide around. Um, but as I said before, I just think it's way too big, so maybe I'll be able to put some stuff from the carry-on. And I don't know. I love California, but the weather out there is, you know, pretty much perfect. But in March, that's not a really good time to go there. That's the rainy season, which is like our summer. Um, so last year, I mean, I took jeans, I had shorts, I had short sleeve shirts, I had jackets, I had long sleeve shirts. It's kind of mixed. You wake up in the morning, maybe it's only 50 degrees. Mid midnight, maybe it's 45 degrees, and then during the day it might hit 80 or 75, so it's kind of diverse. But you're going to need jackets and the shoes I travel in. I, I love the Pumas to travel in because they're so comfortable. I can take them on and off easily at the TSA checkpoints and stuff. So I'll probably end up bringing sandals for the beach. I'll have stuff to wear walking around and then plain shoes. I, I hate that, though, because you're carrying three pairs of shoes. you got all kinds of different pants and all that. Yeah, so maybe I'll use that whole suitcase. I am selling the iPad tomorrow. My grandfather's friend um, from Acme, you know, we go in there every Saturday morning and have donuts and coffee and cigarettes with them. He's known them forever. And this guy's name's Lowell. He uh, owns a wedding photography business, which is pretty cool. So, you know, people call him up, say, we're having a wedding, we want you to come take our pictures, and he goes all over the whole state doing weddings. So he wants an iPad, and I mentioned a couple months ago that the iPad 3 was coming out. You want to buy mine? So he said, sure. So we worked out a deal, $350, which, you know, he's a friend of mine, so I'm not going to charge him what I would get otherwise. Um, but I'm going to go drop this off to him tomorrow. That looks like a scratch, but it's just water. My hands are wet. I'm going to give him the smart cover, too, because I'm going to replace it. So tonight, that means I'm going to have to wipe this off and reset it to factory settings, throw it in the box, clean it up, and go give it to him tomorrow on Thursday. I'm going to be able to do that. I get out at 1... Time to go out tomorrow, 1.30. So I'll probably go over and meet him at 2, give him the iPad, get my monies, and I really hope a couple things. That the iPad 3 comes out and I can get it before we leave on the 15th. And I hope that the, uh, the post on Mac Rumors was false about a price increase of $70. If they do make an iPad mini, I bet that'll be cheaper. And then the full iPad, which may or may not have a quad-core processor, um, would be more money, and I would definitely get the better one. I would have the money, I don't really want to spend it, of course, but I just hope it's the same price, because I plan on getting a um, 32 gig Wi-Fi again. But that means I'm going to have over a week with no iPad, which I can manage. I don't use it all that much. Um, I'll probably miss it in that week. I think I'm going to miss it more than I think I will. I'm going to give it to him Thursday. We won't hear about the new one until Wednesday the 7th, and I have no idea when it's going to be available. Hopefully that Friday or into the next week early. And uh, Kenan wants to take a day off from school and go over to the mall and wait five hours in line like we did last year. I don't want to miss school, but I really want to get the iPad uh, before we go. That's a lot of plane entertainment and stuff like that. I don't know. Leave me your thoughts below. Do you think we're going to see it before the 15th? And is there going to be a price increase? I hope not. This is from um, Sheridan High School from a couple days ago. I think there's going to be some 9-11 calls in here. If you want to learn anything about this... Um, Google the title of that article, followed by Fox 8 Cleveland, and I'm sure you'll find it. And I just cleaned out the Watch Later playlist. I didn't have much in there, uh, just a Casey LeVere video. So uh, I did get that done. My mom's not back getting crap yet from Walmart, but when she does, maybe I'll go up and put it in my little leather satchel, and that'll be one less thing I got to do. All right, boys, we got Trisha talking now. I hear she's going to talk a couple minutes. imagine an emotionally draining week for everyone here but last night they found comfort in the connection that they all share in Chardon parents teachers students members of law enforcement Monday's events bind them together in a yeah so there's that if uh, anybody's interested uh, I haven't talked about it much about the last two days I'm kind of just doing my news research now as I have a, another uh, 30 or 40 minutes before I need to head back to the camp. So I'm here in my iTunes library. I created a playlist uh, maybe two or three weeks ago called Spring Break 2012. I had some time in study hall and I was thinking about, I don't want to go through my whole music library um, on the plane. I've got 2,440 songs and about half of those are, you know, they're just not what I hear, not what I want to hear flying across the country. So I built this Spring Break playlist. It's only got 201 songs in it. Um, so I just had to update that because, as I said, it's been a while and I've added plenty of songs. So I just went back, added the last 20 or so I've added since then, and now we're good. Oh, this is a good song. Let me know if let me know if you know what that's called. Yeah, you should know by that.
Oh, friggin' right. Look at this, they hit the nail on the head. 59 degrees and sunny for once. It's very nice. I've got windows down, the sunroof is open. This is what I like. You know, if it were June and it were 59 degrees, I guarantee I would be complaining about how it's 59 degrees in June. But February? Hell, I'll take it. I beat all the buses out, so that's just friggin' awesome. I mean, look at that. It was piss poor in this morning. The car's filthy now, and now it's so nice. Uh, I bet we hit 60 before I get home. Oh, freaking right it did. 60 degrees, boys. Ah, uh, yeah. Check it out. 65 degrees, gentlemen. Feels phenomenal. Damn it. 64 now. 66 degrees. The sun's still out. It's melting off the rain from this morning. So why not, right? I'm in 2.2 miles. Might as well get downtown. S4 SL63. There's another S4 with huge exhaust. Let's see, the worst part of that car is it requires you to put it in drive before you drive it. Just a disgrace for such a nice machine. Don't really like the sound of those Mercedes V8s. I don't know. They they sound like they're right off the racetrack. It needs to be a little bit more refined. Well, now we're left with the 335 IS competitor, the Audi A4. Damn! Check out that cloud over there. The depth, the sunlight hitting it, really shows the depth. That's awesome. Okay, supposedly Kenan's on Main Street, which would put him right over there. And yes, I'm laying down. Oh, we hear him. He's getting horny. There he is. Find my iPhone takes forever to update, but when it gets it, it is right. So now we'll go see where Taylor is. Says he's zero miles away. And damn near the same location. So I guess he'll be, he'll be here soon. How you doing? Okay, how you doing? Good. Hi, Porsche boy! Hi! Hi. Apparently this is what God thinks of me. Well, there we go. 8.7 miles. I said that was a pretty good ride. I looked before, I was looking at my average speed for a while and I couldn't figure out why it, could, why it wouldn't go above 10. I thought it was my mileage. Uh, so I thought we did 10 miles, but only 8 point whatever I just said. So, I'll take it. It's clouded over, it's down to the mid-50s now. It's cooled off quite a bit from 66. But that's all right, because I'm gonna go in now. I need to sit down, get something to eat and drink, and dig into the work for tonight. We had quite the nice car count for today, though. There was a black E60 M5, the one that I filmed before with the Eisenman exhaust, the blacked out badges. Instead of the BMW colors, it was black, gray, white, and then the blue in the BMW badge was black. Black wheels black grills, black front badge, really cool, but I don't like that much aftermarket stuff. So we saw that, the SL63 AMG, three Audi S4s, Volkswagen S4s, and a bunch of other little stuff, so pretty good day. That's right, boys, it gets up to 66 degrees in a day, Bob Marley comes out. Friggin' rights. So it's that time now, I've got the iPad plugged in here, I'm gonna back up anything that I have on it that I might need and then do a factory reset back to uh, factory settings, throw it in the box. I'm giving the guy the smart cover too because I'm going to buy myself a, a new shiny one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm using the AirPlay feature. I use it all the time. If a new Apple TV comes out, I'll update it some or I'll upgrade mine sometime. Probably not right away, but uh, so I'm going to do that. I don't think it's going to take very long. It only takes maybe 15 minutes for that thing to reset. So I'll get on that now. The Sherry Todd's podcast, Ma. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Episode number friggin' uh, 32. Watched them all, listened to them all, hear from my tunes. Sound like Taylor. Yeah. Okay, Manic Monday, bitches.